Okay, so week five of the modern Dalai Hiva game. So we were looking at um I had the strong Dalai Hiva hook in, I had that far sleeve grip. And then from our position, I was uh, let's let's just say I couldn't do the off balances. So we looked at um how I could try an off balance thrown this way, maybe it wasn't happening. Um, the overhead, he's, his weight's moving back. Anytime his weight was moving back, I kicked up and I was going for Did the chances turn this way, bro? We were going to sit up guard. So I had this, and then I was looking to work that pass off, but sometimes um, Tyrone might break that grip if that's the case. So then we looked at how he would find the lapel. The lapel's very good from this position because it keeps Tyrone's posture broken. And then we looked at a variety, maybe he made the grip and I found this and then he kicked him in the ass and swept him and stuff. Sometimes if he stuffs this down, okay, and then I try to re-grab, he's, you know, he's hiding that, he can backstep, we turn how he can backstep to here. So last time we looked at it, I would switch the grips and then from that position I put in the butterfly hook. So now from here, um, I can kick forward and come up and start to pass. Sometimes though, when you put in that hook, they're going to come back up again. So let's just look at that scenario. So Sam playing Dela I had that far side sleeve grip. Couldn't work my off balances. Jerome's sort of leaning back, or I just feel I'm going to sit up guard. I go to do that pass off and then I find the lapel. So I'm here. The minute um, Tyrone back steps, I make that grip and I'm looking for the hook. But now Tyrone knows that I'm Gonna put him on his back and he bounces back up again. As he do, they just take him in that way. So as he's moving up, I just take him in the direction he wants to go. So now I'm building the base, coming back up into that single leg position. We talked about I don't want Tyrone turning to face me. So he made that grip on the tricep. And now from there I can put weight in him and now start attacking the back. So let's look at that scenario again. Path of least resistance. If he's going to my right, his left, I'm going to take him that way. Let's just go the same row. So from Dalahiva, I had that far seat grip. Maybe I just choose to go to sit up guard. I want that, but now he's broke that grip, so I find the lapel. Now he just backsteps. So as he does, I put in my butterfly hook. But if he decides to come back up again, I just use my right hand on my hook. To take him that way. And now I'm coming back up into that single leg position. Again, I'll switch the tricep control so he can't turn to face me. And now this is a very strong position from here with that lapel between his legs. If I want, I can just um, put them from turtle back onto the side and start to work the pass the side control. This is another option. <clears throat> Get one more angle on that. Just with, um, you're back that way, bro. So from De La Hiva, I had that far side sleeve grip. None of the off balances were working. He's leaning back, couldn't work the overhead sweep, so I made the transition to sit up guard. I want that. He breaks out, I find the lapel. The minute he back steps, I just make that grip and put my hook in. I'm coming this way. So if Tyrone's coming back that way, I'm gonna take him that way with my grips. I just push him with my butterfly hook and I push him with that hand on the collar. Once I come up, I can make that tricep grip. And now from that position, I can fill the space with my knee, lock harness control, tilt them over, and we're on the back. So that's dealing with the back step <coughs> if he comes back up again the way he came. <coughs> 